What's the dumbest reason someone broke up with you? Because her friends broke up with their boyfriends. She met someone that she immediately saw herself marrying. A month after we broke up she moved across the country, got married, called me to tell me she made a mistake, got divorced, moved back home, got pregnant and then got married again. Her current age 22. I visited my dad. While he was in hospital. With cancer. She broke up with me because I was visiting my dying dad instead of visiting her. I feel like I dodged a major bullet. No joke? Her mood ring changed colors. You've been really sad ever since I cheated on you and I don't like that, so bye. I told her not to drink and drive. A guy broke up with my sister because he found it difficult to wake up early when she was in the bed, the reason he gave was that he felt like there were less hours in the day for his interests and ambitions. This man broke up with someone because they made bed too comfy. Car was too old. Dropped her, car is still chugging along. She broke it off to try and be with a guy at her job. He told her he wouldn't go out with someone already in a relationship. He was trying to be nice and not cause trouble. She didn't get the guy and she lost her job because she made a big scene about not getting what she wanted. I'd say I was the lucky one in that situation even if it didn't feel like it at the time. She sent me a breakup text as she was jumping into some other guy's back seat. I got the story a couple hours later through a mutual friend who was there. The next day she called wanting to get back together. Basically, she just wanted to cheat guilt free. My first boyfriend came over and dumped me on my front porch. He said he didn't like my lisp. He also had a lisp. Edit told me of you are though inventive. I love you. You're the best man I've ever met and I hope whoever I end up with is just like you. Just not you. Then she kissed me and said she'd miss me terribly. Such a mindfuck. She was the one until this moment. A few months later, I met my now wife. So thank God for that. Two months into dating a girl, I accidentally spilled some melatonin out of my backpack on her bedroom floor. She was like what are those pills? Accusations of me being a drug addict I wasn't and then blocked me on everything. Not me, but my sister got dumped because the dude had gotten a nicer car, and told her that now he felt he needed a prettier girlfriend than she was. You don't trust me he had his ex over and let her sleep in his bed? Edit because it seems confusing he had his ex sleep over with him in his bed and later when I was like WTF, he dumped me for that. Because if I trusted him I wouldn't care, in his mind? Was convinced I was cheating on them with my gay cousin. Dated a girl for a very short time. One night she came over and started going on and on about her ex, how he was so controlling, manipulative, etc., and that she felt like I was going to be just like him because both he and I grew up on a farm, and we both liked cars. So yeah. I guess I dodged a bullet there. I didn't agree that his favorite pizza brand was good. I dated a woman for about a year and helped her finish her PhD. I proofread and wrote some of her thesis. After she received the degree, she broke up with me. She said she didn't feel comfortable that she was better educated than I was. My girlfriend in kindergarten broke up with me because I wouldn't sleep next to her during nap time. That one still stings. They saw a car pulled over with a flat tire and took it as a sign from God. When I was in second grade, I had a girlfriend. There was a kid in my class that had a crush on her. He told her that he hasn't pooped since he was like two years old. I couldn't compete with that and the next day, he was her boyfriend. I wasn't jealous enough, woman shrugging. She was meeting with one friend a lot. Told her it made me uncomfortable but I trusted her. Apparently, if I had been more jealous aka controlling she would not have broken up. Fuck me for being a trusting person. Dodged a cannonball there. I started getting gray hairs at 20. She broke up with me because she wasn't into having a gilf. She was a year older than me. I told them not to cheat on me again. Seriously, I said I wouldn't break up with them if it didn't happen again, and then they broke up with me because they don't like ultimatums. My old roommate broke up with this girl cuz he hurt her fart once. Because I couldn't ride a bike further than 25 miles on Colorado terrain and I wouldn't couldn't do mountain climbs like Mount Evans. I'm a 69 yo woman. My roommate cried an entire night because he got dumped and the only thing she told him was you deserve better and no other explanation. You care too much. Will always sting, but you can't win them all. Because he got a new job that had him traveling a lot for work, and felt I was holding him back being at our apartment back home. 
that breakup blew my whole life up cause we were an international couple and I had moved to his country to be with him so I had to move all the way back to my own country to start over after 6 years abroad. Spoiler he came crawling back to me a few months later when he was lonely and begged me to come back. I obviously did not. His girlfriend came back after he moved to get away from him and she told him that he was gonna be with her forever if not she would kill herself and him also. Divorced 6 years ago. Reason what if we stop getting along in the future? Her dad liked me. Like I had this 3 or 4 times. Because he dad found I out I listen to metal and have tattoos, that's not wholesome enough for his daughter. So she dumped me and found a good Christian boy that likes country music, incidentally he also ended up going to prison for meth trafficking and got the ex-girlfriend thrown in prison with him as she was driving her car with the 38 pounds of methamphetamine in the trunk lol. Because they were going on vacation. Only a couple dates but she decided I didn't look enough like her dad. Yeah I didn't really feel like becoming morbidly obese either. Because she had a wedding in two months. Hers. She said I was keeping her from going to school and attempting to hold her back in life. This was after I had paid for all her textbooks and for about 2-3 of her tuition when she couldn't afford it and broke down crying about not being able to continue going to school because of the cost. Added we had been dating for about 4 years at this point. I was too good of a man. Figure that one out. Because she was in love with Bon Jovi and was going to marry him. Which we all know now was a lie. We were also 10 at the time. I wasn't a millionaire. I shit you not, those were the words that came out of her mouth. They gave me mono then broke up with me because it was too stressful to have a 6-0 during exam season. She went into remission and wanted to be single with their new lease on life. That was after I was by her side through it all. Not a breakup, but a guy ghosted me because I didn't want to sleep with him right off the bat and said that life is all about taking risks, I need someone who isn't afraid to take risks. I was too happy. Not kidding. I dated a guy for a few weeks and he said he wasn't ready for a relationship and that I was the happiest person he'd ever met and didn't think he could keep up with me. The real irony? I was at the lowest point of extreme depression and was socially masking to prevent anyone else from feeling my pain. I was not happy, I was dying inside. She broke up with me after one day, she literally just agreed to date me the day before. I took her out to the movies, bought dinner, and after all that, she tells me she only wanted to know what it's like to have a boyfriend, and now that she has, she's no longer interested. Technically this was a mutual breakup but her list of grievances were that I was controlling because I called her out on trying to cheat on me and most importantly I violated her privacy. Because I read a Tumblr post she made public where she was shit talking me for being a misogynist. Because I was controlling. Because I didn't want her cheating on me. Another one broke up with me because I considered Metallica to be metal music. 80s metal to be sure, but metal all the same. I'll leave it to y'all to determine which one of those is dumber. Having the same name as her uncle's husband. I kid you not. My ex said he had an invasive thought that I wasn't the one and it gave him anxiety constantly. My other ex said he just wanted to see if he had better options. And if there weren't he'd come back he messaged me a week before my wedding to get back together with me. I was too low a rank in League of Legends I then made a personal vow to always end my season rank higher than her. I did it. We dated during the beginning of the pandemic. He said I didn't leave the house enough. We weren't supposed to leave the house Jason. Though the fact that I didn't want or need her to do my laundry meant that I didn't love her. She didn't like my choice of hot sauce. Because I was too intelligent and used too many big words. I'm eloquent for a Glaswegian but I'm hardly Stephen fucking Fry lol. I wasn't even slightly upset. Because I wouldn't marry her. We had been dating for about 10 days and she drunk called me at 1am saying marry me. I replied, I just fucking met you. Never heard anything from her after that. My boyfriend of 2 years broke up with me because he wanted, and I quote, a Latina with attitude and I'm a nice girl. I'm not Latina and don't have an attitude. He knew that two years ago so I don't know where that came from Lamau. I took a bath and not a shower one night to relax. He said it was gross. This will get buried, but a week after our two-year anniversary I was dumped because he wanted to spend a year living in a Shaolin temple in China to learn Kung Fu. As far as I know he is yet to make this big move. You yelled at me I most certainly did yell at her, specifically to get the hell away from that rack of propane tanks with a lit cigarette. Not me but one of my friends GF dumped him because he was too tall for her, 
he is 5 feet 10 which isn't all that tall for our age in our country. Because I made them breakfast. Yep, you read that right. I made them breakfast and assumed they were adult enough not to sleep through their alarm. They slept through, through the breakfast at me and blamed me for not waking them up, because if they had just spent the night at their own house, their mom would have woken them up. They later tried to backtrack the breakup, but I wasn't having it.